logic is a systematic method of coming to the wrong conclusion with confidence. Logic operates, metaphysics contemplates. Logic doesn't apply to the real world. Analogy is even slipperier than logic. With method and logic, one can accomplish anything. Logic is the youth of mathematics. Logic can be patient, for it is eternal. Logical consequences are the scarecrows of fools and the beacons of wise men. Plurality should not be assumed unnecessarily. Upon this point, a page of history is worth a volume of logic. Logic is neither a science nor an art, but a dodge. Logic is the hygiene the mathematician practices to keep his ideas healthy and strong. Neither logic without observation nor observation without logic can move one step in the formation of science. A mind or logic is like a knife or blade. It makes the hand bleed that uses it. Logic is the olive branch from the old to the young the wand which in the hands of youth has the magic property of creating signs. Logic, properly used, does not shackle thought. It gives freedom and above all, boldness. Illogical thought hesitates to draw conclusions because it never knows either what it means or what it assumes or how far it trusts its own assumptions, or what will be the effect of any modification of assumptions. He draweth out the trade of his verbosity finer than the staple of his argument. The book of female logic is blotted all over with tears and justice in their courts is forever in a passion. Logic is invincible because in order to combat logic, it is necessary to use logic. Contrary wise, continued Twiddledy, if it was so, it might be, and if it were so, it would be. But as it isn't, it ain't. That's logic. The fact that logic cannot satisfy us awakens an almost insatiable hunger for the irrational. When an apparent fact runs contrary to logic and common sense, it's obvious that you have failed to interpret the fact correctly. Logic is one thing and common sense another. Logic has virtually nothing to do with the way we think. Victims suggest innocence and innocence by the inexorable logic that governs all relational terms suggests guilt.
The man of science, in searching for the truth, must ever be guided by the cold logic of facts and be animated by scientific imagination. Reason itself is voluble, and this volubility must find a place in our logic. Could it be that there were other things more desirable than cold logic and undefiled brain power? But logic, like whiskey, loses its beneficial effect when taken in too large quantities. Logic has much the same relation to truth as physics has to weight or heat. Poets do not go mad, but chess players do. Mathematicians go mad, and cashiers, but creative artists very seldom. I am not, as will be seen, in any sense attacking logic. I only say that this danger does lie in logic, not in imagination. Religion is love. In no case is it logic. Reason and logic are not masculine instruments of oppression. To suggest that they are is an insult to women. Logic is a large drawer containing some useful instruments and many more that are superfluous. A wise man will look into it for two purposes to avail himself of those instruments that are really useful and to admire the ingenuity with which those that are not so are assorted and arranged. Wondrous whole, magical whole, dazzlingly influential whole, noble and effulgent whole. From this whole everything follows logically, first the baby, then the placenta, then, for years and years and years until death, a way of life. It is all logic, and she who lives by the whole will live also by its logic. It is appropriately logic with a whole in it. The space of night is infinite, the blackness and emptiness crossed only by thin bright fences of logic. He was, in logic, a great critic, profoundly skilled in analytic. He could distinguish and divide a hair twixt south and southwest side. Nothing in logic is accidental.